for us to even be discussing Newcastle finishing the top four exactly from the start of last season, yeah. just transformation. We just well, it's remarkable. How, how far away are they from a conversation that puts them in as title contenders? Well, I don't. Think are we talking I, this season? I think I think they're on the way to doing it, Jim. I, I was really impressed with Gordon in the twenty ones. Um, his ball in. Um, for Tonali, that late run and the way he anticipated Tonali, looking like he's uh, full of energy, bursting from midfield. Almiron's improvement, uh, Joe Linton's improvement under the current manager. I think they can be got at a little bit defensively. I think um, I think it's also, Jim, as well, they're not going to realise what's going to hit them when the Champions League comes round. I found that in my career, that came late the Champions League, I think I played in it maybe eight seasons, the, the clamour for interviews... Uh, your training ground's taken over. It's enormous. You've got all these Champions League games. It's higher level. Um, it's you know obviously it'd be the same for Arsenal. We're playing Europa League, and it was a step down. This is a step up, very much so. Champions League and all of that that comes with it. I don't know if the squad is quite strong enough. I can see good Harvey Barnes coming in, Jim. Great news that they scored a late goal. Both um, Harvey Barnes getting an assist and a goal. Fantastic for the squad, Wilson as well. Mm. So it, I can see the makings of it, but I don't think the experience is there for them to manage the Premier League and the Champions League together. One thing Eddie said to me on numerous occasions, and I felt great about it, was I listen to your show because you, you get honesty from your man Jordan, but am I right in thinking that you still don't think that at the very highest level, if Newcastle are to win the biggest prize, i.e. the Champions League, you're not sure if Eddie's a man to guide them there? Um, I, I, I think it's a slightly unfair observation, but I think on the journey of these football clubs, when they've got this super uh, level of, of change of ownership that's going to push it vastly beyond what it's ever been able to achieve before, more often than not, what you have is people that get you to certain waypoints and right now, the waypoints that Eddie is getting you to are very significant, so they're sort of dismantling the argument that I've got. Eddie Howe's but, doing exceptionally well. He's doing Simon. remarkably well. And, and he's done, he used to say that he can't do that. Well, this is the debate the that we're having here. We're saying, I'm saying that there's, a, like, like in the instances of Manchester City, where they went through the gears, when the first the money first landed in, you had the, the Thai guy that was necessarily not all that he was cracked up to be. Then you had Sheikh Mansour come in. Mark Hughes was in situ and eventually you landed at Mancini to get you to the cost to the promised land in whenever they first won the Czech Premier League which I think was 2011 was that different here though? Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. It, can Eddie Howe adapt and be that man that takes them through all of these legs of this journey well this is the 64 million dollar question actually yes I, well, I, I'm, I'm starting I see, to, yes, I'm starting to on that side. I, I, think, going. I, I certainly think right, that what he should be given based upon his current performance is the length of time to be given an opportunity to achieve that because the problem for Eddie is he is uh, he is over promising now by the very nature of the team's performance, and there will come a point no, where Amanda, they Stav Amanda Stavely is doing that perhaps in the boardroom. Well, for him. well, to some extent, that everyone around Newcastle Fo United Football Club at this moment in time are doing a job that's working out to an outcome that people are looking at and saying this is remarkable. You've got Dan Ashworth that's been in the recruitment department, is being able to, to to work the oracle that he's done in previous other environments. You've got uh, Eddie doing very well. You've got Jason Tindall operating at a high level. So you've got everything right, and you've got everything going the right way. Now there'll come a point where this, this sort of fulcrum effect, this almost Laffer curve mentality of where you're at a point where expectation is going to be exceeded because the expectation is building up now. It will become acclimatised to Newcastle fans. Last year's a revelation, right? No one priced it in. No one thought it. Well, you certainly, certainly, certainly didn't, didn't right? Yeah, and no one felt you. now. Now, this year, there's, it, it's not a novelty. There's a tacit expectation that maybe we can do it again. And there will come a point where Eddie has to step across the line from getting inside the top four to delivering something. And if he doesn't do that, there and there becomes the situation where the ownership model goes, well, we're not playing, we're here to win. Is he going to get us to the promised land? But I think he's if just he's enjoying... Not, they're, they're, they're basically just in, not forgetting to enjoy it. The, the journey they're on... What, you why would they enjoy it, I mean, you've got to win. That's not is, football no. fans, is it? No, no, no. But when you saw... What I, saw I, didn't see, I didn't see any fear. I didn't see any fear in their performance last weekend. Um, well, there was nothing I, to be fearful of, was there? When baseball, well, Aston Villa, Aston Aston out, Villa played well. Uh, For about Villa, 20 minutes, did Yeah, but Aston Villa at the end of last season were one of the best finishers. But, so this was being billed as a really interesting game. But let's be game. honest, Martin. And the first game of the season, with a fervent fan base, with new signings and all the expectation, the environment they're playing in an irresistible environment and they're rising to the challenge rather than going underneath it. And, and that's because they're in ascendancy. 100%. There yeah. will come a point where that levels off a little bit. And at that point... The ownership model needs to hold its nerve if they believe in Eddie Howe, or they will twist and say that we need a guy that's won 
the Premier League. Yeah. I think the Eddie Howe we see I'm, now, I'm not though, advocating we'll, we'll, for we'll it. probably be preparing preparing for that. But, but, that, that and that's it. why I think so many questions might end up being answered tomorrow night. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.